Hello, welcome back to Screen Print TV. Today I'm outside. I'm outside my print shop. I got one solar panel set up. And I wanted to see can I run some of the equipment. But not necessarily equipment. I want to see what can I power in my shop. Just some basic stuff like my lights. I got my exposure unit. Those are two things I think. And probably my little heat gun. See can I power all that. Uh, I know I'm not going to be able to power my conveyor dryer because that's pulling in uh, 220 volts uh, on a, well, is a single phase circuit, but uh, I know it's not going to power that. So I'm just gonna, going to show you my setup. I just got one panel. I got three more panels that I have not uh, attached yet. I got everything to attach all the panels together. So I'm just running one panel. Right now, and I got my camera blocking my uh, some of my cell, so it's gonna stop it from charging, getting a uh, maximum charge. But I'm getting ready to move all this right here. So this is my solar panel, and the sun is pointing right back here on the back of the uh, camera, more more uh, easterly, sort of yeah, more easterly, more easterly than northeasterly, and then it sets back that way towards the west so I'm going to uh, yeah I'm going to stop right here I'm going to show you the my setup I lost my thought for a minute so let me just stop this I'll be back with you guys in a minute in a second okay I'm back this is my setup I, I seen this on YouTube so I wanted to do mine like this here because I sort of want to be mobile uh, because I have a 10 by 10 uh, canopy tent that you know I can set up at events and stuff if that ever uh, start back because right now all that stuff is dead but I put it on a uh, hand truck and let me show you what I got here I got my 1500 watt sine wave inverter this is the stuff that I showed you I upgraded my uh, charge controller from a what is a PWM or PMW to a PTT. I'm gonna say MPPT charge controller, and the reason I've done that because it maximizes the uh, energy that pulls out the panel for charging the battery, so you get uh, you don't you don't get as much loss when it's coming through your cables and and charging your battery so it it charges better and it helps you to run more equipment and i don't know if you can see my battery i lowered a little bit here okay see i got two batteries i got two it's still 12 volt because the way i got it wired i got positive to positive and negative to negative so it increases the amp hours to i got 200 amp hours but you can only use 100 amp hours because you only you don't want to go below 50% charge but you can go lower on these batteries here but I won't go below 50% charge just to keep the batteries healthy and I got a fuse box which I got I haven't hooked up I got it mounted but I have not got everything run through the fuse box yet and this is my charge controller that's when it's not in use when I got my solar panels I don't have them mounted anywhere yet but it helps keep the battery healthy like uh, let's say we go through a week or a couple weeks of uh, cloudy days and there's no sun you know I can plug this in it'll keep my batteries uh, charged it, it's uh, it sends out little milliamp voltages just to keep the battery charged it doesn't uh, totally charge it keeps it healthy and it maintains it and maintains the battery and put this back up and right here I got this cord here it's going into my shop and I unplug my my um, Everything from the grid power, and I got it hooked to my solar power. Everything except for my dryer, my conveyor dryer. So everything else is in there is hooked to the uh, grid power because my my dryer is on a different circuit. It's on a uh, 220 circuit, and and everything else is on a uh, 110, 120 circuit. All right, I'm gonna take you inside. I'm gonna stop it right here. We're gonna go inside. And we're going to um, see if we can power some stuff and see what we'll power. And I'll show you guys all that there. 
and you have my probably have to excuse myself because it's messy because I have not been in it doing any work. I just been messing with this stuff, so I got some boxes and trash everywhere. So just to excuse all of that. But we're gonna go on the inside. Let me stop it right here and take you on the inside and see what can we get powered up. Okay, I'm back in my shop now. Um it's hot in here. And as you can see, I look kind of rough because I haven't had a haircut since this coronavirus stuff started. All right, let me see. We got our everything running to our uh, here because I got my. If you look up here, I got. I can't see. I got the tape blocking it. Right. I'm just gonna see that right there. Where is it at? And right here. Just where most of everything is powered into my lights and my heat gun and uh, my. Uh, let me see if that plugged in. Oh, well, hmm, that's not plugged in, but well, we can still test it though. My exposure unit right here is not plugged in, but let's see can we turn on some lights here. This is our LED light. You want to use LED lights when you're using solar because of efficiency. Oh, just hold on for one minute. Let me turn on my, I just blocked my thing. Let me go turn on my inverter. I forgot to turn that on. Let me stop here for a second. Okay, I'm back and I'm sweating. All right, I turned my inverter on. So let's try this again. All right, yes. Let's see the lights come on. That's definitely off the solar. Right there. All right, let's try my heat gun. See if that come on. Oh, I turned the lights off. Uh, lights got to be on for the heat gun to work. Okay, let me turn it back on. All right, turn the heat gun on. Heat gun working. You hear it working. It's on high. This is running off of solar. So we got light and heat gun that run on solar. Uh, let me let me leave you guys again. I don't want this video to be too long. And I'm going to switch my power over to, so I can run this right here, run my, my uh, exposure unit. So let me stop for a minute and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I'm back. I switched the uh, power over to my outlets. Uh, it's off grid, it's running from my solar. So let's see, can we turn my, let me see, can I show you this right here? Let's see if we turn this right here on. See what that right there work. Ooh, one of them's not coming on. Hmm, what's happening here? Let me turn it back off. One is not powering up, and I notice right here is only like, it's not that many watts. Oh, that's strange. One of my strips is not powering up. And that's the, and it's the, uh, that's the first strip. So the power, the power is going through the first one. It's going through the first one and it's lighting up these three, but it's not lighting up the first one. So I gotta figure out what's going on with that. All right. Oh, I'm gonna put my hand in front of the camera again. Man, I'm sweating, so bear with me. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the uh, one of my strips. It was lighting up good the other day. And I am pouring down sweat. What's the temperature out here? Uh, it's only about 95 degrees, but it's still hot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I just wanna show you guys uh, my solar setup. I'm not finished with it. I'm still working on it. Uh, my shop's in a mess. I still got three more panels to attach to it and it'll give it maximum power. And I'm gonna uh, add at least two more batteries to the battery bank. 
and see what we can do. I know we can run a lot. If we can run a lot of the bakes, like the heat press, the small heat press here. Uh, we can run uh, some things. My cutter. I didn't test my cutter. Um, but uh, I'll do that another day. I'll hook my computer up to everything and, and I'll cut some stuff and um, and see what else can we run off of solar power. All right, thank you guys for joining me on the end of the video here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave a comment, share this video because I am sweating like crazy and I am getting out of this hot shop. All right, thank you guys for joining me. I am out.